everyone. I'd like to talk to you about life skills that we can learn through playing board games. Well, we might learn, we might enhance, you know, but there's certainly skills that board games can help us with. I've talked before about the benefit of board games in business, so this is just general how board games can help us. Playing with other people obviously gives you a sense of community and togetherness. But in addition to that, we have logic and strategy. From chess through to near and far, above and below, through to Scrabble. We have it increases our focus and attention while we're playing. And we're kind of figuring out what we're doing next and, and what other people are doing. It teaches us patience while we're waiting for our go. And while somebody perhaps is having taking a bit of time to think because they really need to focus on what they're doing. Some games encourage collaboration. So you're working together towards a common goal. Or perhaps there's a bit of critical thinking and problem solving involved. So can you think a little bit differently? Can you provide a different solution to get yourself out of where you are to make a change in the game? There's resource management, which then applies to our real lives with our money, with our food, with our natural resources in the world. Creative thinking, negotiation and communication. Dexterity, so, you know, building things, trying to build something without knocking something else over, trying to take something out of a stack without making it all fall over. There's elements of memory. So kind of like, can you remember there? Somebody's got some hidden cards over there. You saw them when they took them. Can you remember what they've got? Is it important? We need to assess probabilities. What's the likelihood that this or that is gonna happen? while we're making our choices about what we're going to do on our go. There are elements of maths involved. We're like continually thinking about working, if we, particularly if we are working about probabilities, we're looking at how likely something is to happen. And we're looking at like, if we look at it over as a whole, we're sort of like the analysis of the whole game system, sort of like taking it apart to figure out the best way to win. There might be elements of bluffing or misleading other players. Some games require knowledge and some an element of storytelling. So if you're really, really happy and what you even in creative and innovative, then you might think, well, you know, maybe a role play game is one for me. Some games involve humour. And sometimes humour really, really means like toilet humour, rude. But Sometimes can be fun. And drawing games. Drawing games are quite often fun. They don't necessarily increase your drawing skills, but you can have a lot of fun playing them. And also spatial reasoning. So looking at how things, shapes, tessellate together, and can increase your skills for doing that in real life. So that's a little rundown there of quite a few things real life skills that we can take from board games that we can learn and we can then use in our work with our families in our real lives and we can enhance all of those aspects of our worlds by playing board games thank you very much for listening i've been katie from games explorers